with the drive shaft in place, I can now go ahead and start to create a wheel assembly. We're going to start with a 60 tooth gear. Now you'll notice when I bring this into the assembly, I have a couple of work planes that are visible. We're going to be using those work planes later on to align the three gears. Using my IMEX that I've used before, I'm going to place that 60 tooth gear against the outside of the chassis. So you have to be careful when you're doing this one because there are a couple of eye mates fairly close together and we'll check that once I've placed the gear so make sure it's close towards you. I'm just going to rotate that around a little bit to make sure there's no interference and that looks okay. So it's worth a double check at this point just to make sure that you haven't placed that on the inside of that face rather than the outside. So with that gear in place we can now go ahead and start to add the other components. We need to go over to another folder, that's the structure folder, and we want a spacer, 4.6 millimeters in this case. This is pretty straightforward to assemble. We have circular edges. So I'm going to go to constraint and insert constraint, select the appropriate edges, and click OK. Now we're going to bring in a wheel. And that's a 4 inch wheel in the motion folder. I brought that in as a sub-assembly, consists of two parts. Again, I can use an insert constraint, but I want to be careful because any time you have chamfered edges or filleted edges, there are a couple of edges fairly close together, so you want to make sure you're selecting the correct ones. That's good. I can click on OK. Finish that off, I'm going to go out and get a shaft collar to hold everything in place. And we'll place that shaft collar in there. We just need one of them. Now just before I do that, I'm going to rotate the wheel. And I thought that, I've got a bit of a problem there. What I need to do is I need to tie together the shaft and the wheel. I'm going to do that with an angle constraint. Select the face of the shaft. And I'm going to rotate that around. There's a couple of ways you can do this. I'm just rotating it around so you can see the face that I'm going to be selecting. So that's one of the inside faces on the wheel. Select the solution and click OK. Now when I rotate that, everything's rotating correctly. Now you can see in the background I've already fixed the gear, which I hadn't done before. So it's important that you apply these angle constraints to make sure everything rotates correctly. With the shaft collar, it's an insert constraint, pretty straightforward. Click on apply, because I have one more constraint to add, and that's the angle constraint to make sure that the face of the shaft and the face of the set screw are aligned correctly. And there we are. So now we've created one wheel assembly. Everything looks as if it's rotating correctly. And it's time to go ahead now and create the other parts of the wheel assemblies.